Now approaching her 43rd birthday, Lisa Creason of Decatur made a big mistake at the age of 19. Walked into a local restaurant, um, demanded the money in the register, the, the cashier refused, and I fled the scene. Lisa turned her life around going to nursing school to support her young family. When she was done, she applied for a license to become a registered nurse. The state of Illinois sent me a nice letter and told me I couldn't take my licensure test. The Illinois legislature changed the law while she was in school, preventing nonviolent offenders like Lisa from getting licensed in the healthcare field. And I said, hey, you know, what can I do? And um, they kind of, you know, chuckled and uh, told me to change the law. That's exactly what Lisa has been doing, trying to get the legislature to change the law. Research shows that people who find employment after release from prison are substantially less likely to return uh, later on. Lisa has the Illinois Policy Institute in her corner. Criminal justice policy analyst Bryant Jackson Green says taxpayers will benefit by keeping people out of prisons with good jobs. So the more we have uh, working, supporting their families, um, in the workforce paying taxes, you know, the less crime we'll have because they'll be gainfully employed. I want to pay for my own medical insurance and I want to buy my own food with a paycheck that I earned from a degree that I earned. The legislature could take up the measure as early as next week. Doug Wolf, WAND News.